Hi, I'm James, and thank you so much for taking time out of your day to learn about VertEasy Dental. So we come from a company in France called Haptic A Reality Virtuelle, and we use virtual reality and haptics to improve lives. Whether that's in VertEasy with dentistry training or NAO with ergonomic analysis. So here's Arno Cosson to introduce the company to you. Alors HRV est une société basée à Laval, créée en 2013. Nous sommes spécialisés dans le domaine de la réalité virtuelle avec deux domaines d'activité. On développe d'une part des, des simulateurs médicaux avec un produit phare dans le domaine de la chirurgie dentaire et d'autre part nous utilisons tout ce qui est outil de la réalité virtuelle pour simuler des environnements industriels et faire de l'analyse de l'humain. So that was Arno Cosson, our CEO and founder. And my name's James. I'm head of sales and product owner for HRV, and I have been for a number of years now. So I know all of the universities which we work with, and I look forward to meeting you as well. So this is the flight path we're taking in dentistry, because haptics really mirrors aviation training. In the 50s, you had the blue box Lynx trainers. Then as technology improved, you had immersive environments. And then it became standardized and you had qualifications based on the simulation. And that's where we're heading with dentistry. So for you, you need to consider your vision, what it is you want to achieve, your budget, what you can realistically afford and your experience. Are you looking just to start trying haptics to integrate it into your curriculum? Or are you ready for a full classroom in the university? Because it's split up into a number of alternatives, you have VertiZe Dental Plug and Play. This is our simplest and easiest approach to get involved in the haptics. You have the classroom set up, multiple simulators connected and working together in harmony. And you have the extended classroom. And this is really exciting using virtual reality to offer an entirely new experience. And I'll show you a glimpse into that. That's what we're working on for the future. So plug and play. No teacher PC, no server, not even internet required. It's got a one click login and calibrations super quick as well. So let me load up VertiZ Dental and show that to you. So this is VertiZ Dental in plug and play mode. You can see the connections nice and easy, just a one click login. And then we have familiarization, restorative, endodontics, prostodontics, and implantology. So familiarization, we have the CDE block, caries, dentine, enamel, then working through some of the sort of operative uh, de dexterity skills and then working on the indirect vision as well. But let's start with the CDEs. So these stand for caries, dentine and enamel. And this is usually the first exercise that students do. So when it loads, you'll see that the building blocks just go onto one of these trays and they're just floating slightly above. Along the bottom, you have the choice of burrs, and we can actually add in more brands according to the ones you use in your clinic so that they match. So let's go ahead and choose a, a slow speed, but we also have fast speed burrs and then the dental probe as well. And you'll see the calibration, so it is nice and easy. You just touch the top of the block and then position on the finger rest. And then with this, we can start to drill away at the shape of the D on here. And then the caries as well. So the caries is obviously a lot softer. You see the haptics is enough to block my hand from moving any further when I touch it. And so we've got a slow speed burr. We just sort of scratch the surface of the enamel. So let's go ahead and switch to a faster speed burn now. Now we're able to actually drill through the enamel that's there. The dentine 
is softer than it was with the slower speed and the carry is, is very soft it's like chewing through cake and then you see we have the ability for real-time evaluation as we're working so if I was to take the block and start drilling through you see it updating once we get to those slices so there on the E block for instance you can see all the red the green the red there that's coming up now this works just like a scan so you can use each of the views to work through it and see the different slices you can take measurements there's a few extra functionalities here you'll be able to find and then the evaluation top left you can see what you're marked against and what you're currently performing at and that's it for the plug and play mode the the workflow is nice and simple and it's very similar for restorative so we have this is an intraoral scan from a real patient you have the jaws in certain scenarios and then you have the virtual patients we have all types of classes like this is a class 2 you've got a class 1 there's a class 5 and the workflow is very similar so we can load up the exercises here we have a virtual patient and then we're able to load up the lesson notes so we can see what's expected of us and each of these can have different images on we can remove the target if we want there in the blue and we can activate a depth gauge as well but same as before we choose our burr so i'm going to go straight in for a faster speed burr calibration because we're now over by the virtual patient we literally just top touch the top of the tooth and then position ourselves on the finger rest nice and easy no complication and as we drill through feel the enamel going through to the dentine and if we go too far we can perforate through the pulp as well But that's the general workflow to give you a gist of what plug and play mode looks like. Here's your evaluation again. And you're able to record your 3D movement, which is really interesting for research projects or just to be able to give feedback to students on their technique as well as their results. So if we come out of here, I'll log out and then we we'll go back to the presentation. So that's plug and play, no internet, no teach PC, no server. So using the simulator just when you want without any issues. For all these different topics, we've added in deciduous teeth. We've now got validated assessments and patient specific workflows. And then naturally, if you're ready for a full classroom, we can have the simulators connected to a teacher PC with Vertizy Editor to create new exercises and Vertizy Assistant to manage all the data. This is all connected to a local server so you can synchronize everything and back up automatically what's happening. So this starts with a teacher PC and this is Vertizy Editor. And you can create new exercises through our 3D library of adult and deciduous teeth. Import an intraoral scan from a patient and control multi-STM. And CT DICOM scans as well. So I'm going to load up Vertizy Editor now and show you that workflow. So here we go. So this is the overview page. You just set your title and your instructions. But then next you have the creation. So here's where we can import the various teeth. So let's get some deciduous teeth. We'll get the second molar right. And this loads up individually the enamel, dentine and the pulp and you can add multiple teeth in here as well. So let's put in the first molar as well. 
So you see everything's positioned in its natural jaw shape. And we can control everything in there from hiding where the seam marker is and then we can hide the dentine and look at the anatomy of each various part. Once we're happy with the exterior shapes, we can actually create a caries. So this is really, really exciting. You can actually take these shapes. So let's go mushroom cylinder. And what you need to do is literally just click, rotate, click, and drag, and then you're positioning that in there. You can increase the transparency so you can see it easier, and then just click edit, and then same again. You can bring those down. So click and drag. And there you can see on that tooth, we've got the caries just coming out on the side there. Lastly is the target, which can be used to create a different area of material you need to remove for prostodontics, for instance. And then extras, you can set the evaluation criteria as you wish. You can choose a toolkit if you want to limit it just to certain tools. And then the questions. So, are you happy with your result? Are you happy with with your treatment? And then export with the name that you want and just click save. And that's all there is to it. So that's to create a simple exercise in Verti's editor. Once you've done that, they're available on the simulators as you saw, we have VR 360-degree simulation. It's built on Linux, so everything's nice and secure and just works. And then we work with some of the best partners in their fields to create something that's really valuable for you. So let's go back now to the simulator. And here, we've actually got our login that has different students. You see, if I log in as myself, I've got just the first year exercises. And if I log in as a more advanced student, I then have access to all of the different ones. So let's load up an implantology one and show you this, because this is quite exciting. So with implantology as a student, I can either create my own planification or I can go along with the planning of the teacher. And if I do my own, I can also see a comparison between what I've done and what the teacher's done. So here I can use the teacher's panoramic curve. I can then position myself, choose an implant. So I'll choose the 1133, select the appropriate tooth number. So I'm going to go tooth number 36 and then click and drag, click, rotate. You'll see that on the 3D scan just there. Click and drag. And then I can go ahead and save. When I click load, I'll see a comparison between what I've done and what the teacher's done. And then I can go ahead and load my teacher's planning if I want to as well. So now here for implantology, we can check out the lesson notes and see what we're meant to be doing. We have the point of impact and the axe and then the depth gauge as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pick a burr. Again, nice and simple calibration. We literally just touch the top of the tooth or the jaw, sorry, and then position and that's it. So I'm then gonna just mark my point of impact with this burr. Then I'm gonna switch over to one of the smaller implant drills just to give myself a further indent, something grasp. And now I'm gonna switch over for one of the big implant drills just to skip ahead. So position, start drilling, and then slowly do it through the jaw. 
then if you've done a successful drill, you'll also be able to activate the visual gauge. So here you'll be able to visualize whether the angles you've drilled at will allow it to be appropriately placed. Like before you can get a closer view on the real time evaluation, as well as all of your criteria over here. But when you're ready, you can finish the exercise. And because we've got it all connected up, all of this is saved to your profile and you can communicate with your teachers as well. So here we have the reflection. I can say my posture requires improvement. Why? Because the patient position was incorrect. And then it gives me some feedback as well. So that's the full workflow. And that's the same other than the planning for endodontics, prostodontics, restorative, and the familiarization as well. So let's head back to here. And then the next step is Vertezi Assistant. Allows you to view what's happening live on the simulators, stream it to the big screen, and then communicate and evaluate and grade all of the students' work. You can set them up on personalized courses like you saw there, and you can export everything for 3D printing. So here's a few classrooms of Bertie's Adempto. So that's a few universities using Verteasy Classroom already. And this is from Tashkent. I was amazed at just how intuitive it all was. And they've got the four simulators in the classroom set up. And here's some of their students. Of course, I like this kind of simulators because I can make every uh, kind of preparations in these uh, simulators. And also I like that I can imagine that I'm working with the real patient. I think that it's really good. And I like uh, the feeling between the uh, enamel, dentine, and pulp. I can really feel that. Sometimes before uh, we see, um, we heard about such program, a simulation program for dentists, but we think it's only a dream. And now, uh, when we can see it in our institute, so as for me, it's great. I'm very grateful to you and to our um, to our department of our institute because I'm very happy to, uh, to work such right way and I think it's very necessary to our study. So that was some of the students from Tashkent State Dental Institute in Uzbekistan. And what they've done that's really interesting is they've actually hosted international competitions using the simulators to collaborate with other universities around the world. So a huge well done to them. And over in the University of Sheffield in the UK, the system is geared up to give the feedback we would give as clinical tutors. And this is part of exercises we've done in collaboration with the university and I'll hand you over to James Field for a little introduction. Um, is it possible to just go back into the section where you were looking at the, um, the reflective cards? Yeah, of course. How, how easy that is to go back into. Um, what I just want to explain to people is that 
the, um, the feedback that's given um, during the reflective exercise is, has been very carefully written to mirror the feedback, the specific feedback that we would give as clinical teachers. So you may have seen that whilst James was preparing it, um, but the cards were flipping relatively quickly. But one of the things that is very much missing from simulation, even if the simulators did give you accurate feedback about your preparation, there aren't simulators around at the moment that can actually give you the advice that a tutor would give you. So what you can see as we go through this process here is that the simulator isn't just allowing someone to self-critique their performance and tell them whether they're right or not, but it's actually able to give them some advice about how they can progress. So as we move to the reflection cards, um, you can see, for example, say we go to following the outline. Um, if I felt that my outline requires improvement and James drags that card across, um, I might think it's because I didn't ma maintain control of the hand piece. And the suggestion therefore um, is that I have an appropriate hold of the hand piece. I have a good posture. And at some point it will also suggest that I have a good finger rest. And that's further down, you can see on the bottom right, because I didn't establish a stable finger rest. And this is suggesting that we should find one and we should practice it before we begin the exercise. So the whole system is geared up in any configuration to give the feedback that we would give as clinical tutors. And I just think it's really important that we highlight that bit um, before. So this one, the really exciting developments in collaborating with universities around the world, and that was the University of Sheffield. They've had the simulators since 2015. They've now got 10, so it's fully integrated in their curriculum. In the first year, students use theory as well as uh, learning on the simulators like the CDE block you saw. They still use the phantom heads for practice on a wet clinic. And then they blend it with the simulator for the virtual patient and more of the advanced exercises. Before going on, treat patients. And we can now, of course, take the scan of the patient and put that into the simulator as well. So that's VertEasy Classroom. And the last one is extended classrooms with VR and new haptic simulation. So this is really exciting, a project with Epic Games, the makers of Fortnite and Unreal Engine, and this is what it looks like. So I'll bring the video up to the full screen. You can see brand new lighting, shadows, the quality is incredible. I mean, you can actually see the reflections off the burr all around the room. And the quality of this simulation is what allows us to use virtual reality headsets as well. And this would be available as a free update for all the universities that have VertEasy. And so one of the first places we prototyped it was at DEMA University in Spain. And Diego, the CEO, said the students are wowed when they come to visit our university. And that's the sort of feeling we want to give you as a university too. So here's a short glimpse into the Edema University. And you see the, the, the students getting really involved in their training as well as being able to practice their treatments side by side as well. So if you have one simulator, it is exactly that plug and play. You can also have multiple simulators and then for the classroom setup, connecting it to a switch, to a server and then a teacher PC. And these will always revert plug and play if you ever have any network issues. So if the internet goes down or the server goes down, they all still work just like they would have. But when you have the classroom set up, you can integrate your intro scanners, your CTs and your 3D printers if you're lucky to have them as well. So for the future, we've been working on remote working, quick setups, 
you saw the VR and the Unreal Engine. And here's a little prototype we've been doing into periodontics and wax carving as well. So this allows us to go further with restorative treatments. And this is the same engine that we used on periodontics. And you can see they're using the device we're able to carve in to the composite that's on there. So some really exciting stuff and a great time to get involved and influence the future of all of that as well. And one of the things we're really proud of is having the best creation tool that's out there. So not only is it user friendly, but you've got all your micro CTs you can manage. You can design a caries and create real life examples. And then if you have something like Prime Scan device, you can so easily import and export the models, bring them into the simulation, and then get, get going. So then students are able to have a really holistic approach to the treatments, going from patient scan to the jaw to the virtual patient as well. So there's a number of universities that have already started using this, and we'd love to put you in touch with them, get tips, and potentially form collaborations for the future. It's a really exciting time to get involved. And as a startup, we are very fortunate and very thankful to all the universities which put their trust in us and started using Vertizy. We're in more than 15 countries, 30 universities, and almost 100 simulators now. So a huge thank you, and we look forward to innovating even more in the future. To give you an idea for budgets, if you're looking at lower fidelity simulators, most of them cost between 20 to 30,000 euros. The higher fidelity simulators, such as Verteasy, they all cost between 45 to 70,000. But you can get in touch for a quote and I'll provide you with a full plan for your university. In terms of support, we have TeamViewer built in, so we can help you, we can guide you, we can give you live tutorials as well. And it's built to last for easy. A lot of it's modular, so you can always 3D print parts if you need to. The haptics are actually replaceable. So after their working life, you can actually replace just the haptics without having to dismantle or throw away the entire machine. And we provide software updates every three to six months. So I really look forward to hearing from you. Feel free to send me an email. I can send you the brochure, the specifications, and anything else you might need. So thank you very much, and see you soon. Bye-bye.